During President Trump's visit to Alabama he signed Bibles for the victims and his supporters. Slate reported that President Donald Trump traveled to Alabama on Friday to comfort those who had been devastated by the tornado outbreak last weekend that killed 23 people. During the trip, the president raised eyebrows for what appeared to be an unusual gesture as he signed some Bibles. However, as you can imagine, the left is losing their minds over it. President Donald Trump signed a handful of Bibles while visiting tornado-ravaged Lee County, Alabama and the critics were quick to pounce. MSNBC kicked off Saturday morning with a segment that was highly critical of the move. Joe Watkins, former White House aide to President George H.W. Bush, who also happens to be a pastor, said he would not be inclined to sign someone's holy book. He did, however, note that the people asking Trump to sign their Bibles did not appear to be bothered by it. Former Obama White House aide Will Jawando added, I'm of the opinion that only Jesus should be signing a Bible. Movian.org senior advisor Karine Jean Pierre argued that the move was unprecedented and even bizarre, saying, I've never seen that. I don't think any of us has ever heard of a president signing a Bible. And they weren't alone. Politico called the move an unusual gesture. And it only got worse from there. Conservative commentator Michelle Malkin rained on their parade with a single tweet, reminding them that a president signing Bibles wasn't exactly a new phenomenon. Malkin listed Truman, Clinton, Gore, Carter, and Mondale among the presidents, vice presidents, and candidates who had signed Bibles or Psalms books, 